hit boxes, leverless arcade sticks, all button arcade sticks, whatever you want to call these things, they are becoming more and more popular. And I never thought I would bother giving one of these things a chance. But this company, they hit me up. They sell these on Amazon for a reasonable price. And they sent me a few of them. We're going to check them out real quick and see what to do. But I'm a little concerned. I'm a little worried, man. I'm old school. I'm a retro gamer. I grew up in the arcades playing Street Fighter 2, Mortal Kombat, you know, all the classics. And like, I, I'm just comfortable using an actual arcade stick, an actual lever stick, you know, buttons, that kind of thing. And this just always looked weird to me since I started seeing these things. But you know, now that I have some in my hands, I, I'm going to give it a shot. But I'm, I'm, I'm concerned because, man, it's different. What if I like this thing? I mean, I'm not like scared of like liking it. It's just, it's different, you know? But I've seen a lot of people getting into these things. There's gotta be something to it. So, I mean, don't take this as like a review of hit boxes. Maybe this specific product that's on Amazon, I'll, I'll put links in the description so you can check them out. They all seem to have decent reviews and a reasonable price. I do have a few of them. I have this one plugged in. I haven't even used it yet. I just want to make sure my, my uh, PC recognized it, but it could be used on PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, Steam Deck. I have it plugged into uh, Asus ROG Ally, um, but it can be used for numerous things. Here's uh, this other one. What is this one called? They all have like a different name and some of them are smaller. This is the uh, Outpad S16. I think this one, is like 60 bucks on Amazon. It all has RGB lighting, uh, that kind of thing. Let me get this one out. It has RGB lighting, different modes and whatnot. Little screen down here. These are all powered by like a, a Raspberry Pi chipset, I believe. I don't remember, I don't recall the specifics. I'll put whatever information uh, I find up on the screen and the link so you could take a look at it. Oh, I like how this one actually has the button assignments listed on it because this one doesn't. This one's all metal. This one's like plastic. Um, but I mean, it feels good. This seems like really cramped though. But like you got all the buttons up there. You got a little USB there. I think this like you could up update the firmware and stuff like that. Oh, this that's cool. This one has like where you could plug in the uh, USB-C cable right there or up there. This one only had in the back. So that's kind of cool. Turbo buttons, all that good stuff. So there's that one, the little fella. Um, comes with like a replacement switch as well. I think all of these I saw came with something like that, like a replacement and the, the tool to remove it type of thing. Some, some extra parts and then the cable. Um, this one, the bigger one is the M16 and it's a similar thing, came with like extra parts. And then the, the manual, which I am going to be referring to because I, it doesn't have button assignments on there. I'm going to be lost, all right? And then I have this one, which is the B16. This one kind of intrigues me just looking at it. So this one's got extra buttons as well. Manual, cable. But then this one has like keyboard buttons. That's kind of cool, man. This one was the, uh, the B16. Like at least this one's got like some space in between. I don't know. I feel, I mean, it seems cool, man. So there's the sides on that. But let's get this uh, set up. We'll test this one out real quick. And, and like, I've never used these before. I, I don't freaking know. I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned here, but this one's all metal. The other two are plastic. As you can see the, uh, the uh, screen up there reflects like when you're pressing a button type of thing. Then you have all these up here. What are those turbo LS, RS, minus home, back, start, use on the Switch, PlayStation, PC, like I already said. But let's rearrange a bit and, and try this out. Okay, so I have the uh, Street Fighter Anniversary Collection up. We're going to test this little fella out. I have to keep referring to this to see what the buttons are. Like, I'm kind of remembering it now, but like this is left, down, right. Down here is jump or up. It's kind of interesting. And then your A, B, X, Y, and then R, B, L, B, all that stuff over there. So I'm going to see if I could 
if I could get accustomed to this. Um, let's see. I'm getting a little, a little, a little confused. But let's let's see. A. Eh? Oh. All right. So I kind of wish this was separated a little bit more. Um, but for these being like little budget builds, I guess it is what it is. Okay. Everything's everything's set up how it should on these buttons. All right. Oh crap. I don't I don't know if I'm like putting my hands on this correctly. Okay, I could do the Hadokis. Okay, it's kind of I, I I have to get used to used to using the uh, the jump. That that's kind of that's kind of different. But I mean, everything's responding well. It feels decent. I'm just I got to get used to this, but I'm intrigued. Oh, I did a dragon punch, hell yeah. Oh! Oh! Dude! <laughs> oh my god! Dude, I'm... What? I'm... I'm kind of liking this a little bit. I'm not any good at it right now using this, but wow. I'm, I can see the appeal, man, if you're practicing on something like this. So the stick, like in the manual for each of them, pretty much the same. Like there's a lot of different things you could do. You have the SOCD modes, and I believe it tells you on the screen which mode you're on. I think we're on neutral, and it'll explain each of those. So that's simultaneous opposite cardinal direction cleaning uh, ensures the controller obeys certain directional input rules when sending inputs to the console or computer. Then there's those three, it tells you how to do it. There is a web configurer, configurator that you can mess with, um, turbo, different L RGB settings for the LEDs, D-pad modes, invert D-pad Y axes. Yes, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of little features. It has the, uh, the different you know button assignments there on how they're going to work how to set to x input switch input keyboard mode and it says that power cycles it, it saves whatever you have set up okay this is this is neat man i wonder if i could just hot swap to this this keyboard looking one like i'm digging this though holy crap let me unplug it it's probably gonna trip I mean, latency-wise, I, I don't have a way to measure this right now, but um, it's feeling pretty good. It's just, I have to get used to... I have to get used to this. But I, I'm not doing too bad for being a noob with these types of controllers, man. Okay, let's see. What is this? LS, okay. Because this one does say what the buttons are. Just, I don't know what these are. Oh, that's a that's up? Oh! Okay, so you got up and then up. I'm kind of getting a little confused a, a little bit. But I could definitely see the benefits of this for for some people. I mean, who are really into this, like, you know, being able to have access to the, the jump down here. Oh man, okay. I mean, I, I'm impressed. I, I didn't think I would like this at all. I'm still not like used to it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm not used to it. But I'm getting a little used to it and I'm, I'm actually kind of digging it. Almost a perfect, he took a sliver off my life. All right, I'm gonna plug this one in real quick. I like this one because it has multiple entry points for your uh, your cable. Okay. And, you know, I mean, I guess you get what you pay for maybe, but I'm not having an issue with these. Like, seems all right. 
Okay, this one's a little more cramped than the, uh, actually it feels more, it seems a little more cramped than even this little one. Now I know there's plenty of other benefits. Um, is this jump too? Okay. I know there's a lot more benefits to this than I can even explain because I, it's not something I've ever, ever used or really researched much. So this is just kind of like, hey, somebody new trying this out and I'm, 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 I'm kind of digging it. I'm getting a little lost here with uh, how things are. I kind of like this one. I wish, like, I, I like all of them so far, but I, I want a bigger one with all this spaced out a little bit. I feel like I need to stop trying to use this as up because it's confusing me even though you can, but I guess however, whatever's more comfortable. Like this is jump or up. This one is sliding around a little bit, but it did come with rubber feet. I just didn't put them on. Oh, you son of a bitch. Oh, I got him. Okay, okay. Well, hey guys, there you go. The little Hout Pad, uh, Hout 42 setups. I think these are pretty neat, very interesting. If you're interested, uh, I'll put links down below to each one of these. Uh, I'm gonna try to find one that's a little bit bigger because I, I think I might start messing with these. That's really cool. But yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.